Well, it's uh, my honor to be here. Welcome to Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta, you probably know, is the headquarters for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Uh, it's where I've lived for the past 23 years while I've been at CDC. Um, you came at kind of a gray sky moment, uh, but uh, oftentimes uh, we have, we have uh, good weather to share here, as I'm sure you know. You've, you've probably been here any number of times. But thank you for taking the time, the effort, uh, the expense to convene, to discuss, to learn and plan about antibiotic stewardship. Like I said, it's really my pleasure and honor to be at this meeting uh, for antibiotic stewardship from metrics to management. I wanted to take a, a few minutes just to reflect on the, on the theme. There is a lot to say uh, about the organisms that uh, are antibiotic resistant, how many there are, what types they are, where they occur, why they occur. And I could review some of that in some of my opening remarks, but I'm not. I'm really going to uh, take us to what the theme is all about, and that is preventing the emergence of those organisms to begin with. And that, I think, is really uh, you know, a shared responsibility among multiple sectors uh, that use antibiotics for good reasons, but sometimes injudiciously. We will need to concentrate on the interventions to reduce inappropriate use of antibiotics, and thus the generation of those antibiotic-resistant organisms. And we do this through stewardship programs in human health and in animal care settings. We will also concentrate on performance metrics. We really need to know what interventions work, what programs work, if they're successful or not, and develop those metrics that are going to be actionable and be able to differentiate what works and doesn't. Now, also reflecting a bit about the different sectors uh, that are here when we talk about public health, we talk about human health care settings, we talk about animal care settings. And I think historically, uh, they've really been opaque worlds, one sector to the other. Uh, I was just thinking the other day and had a conversation walking down the hall, and I said, I wonder what is the relationship of um, the feed providers to the farmers? What is the relationship from, you know, of uh, antibiotic producers to the feed providers to the farmers? I don't know how any of these things work, and most of us at CDC dealing with human health really don't. I'm really looking forward for the next two days to learn more about how stewardship might be applied in the animal care setting. And I can only imagine that from the animal care setting, when you're looking at the human health care setting, you've got outpatient clinics, you've got inpatient acute care hospitals, you've got tens of thousands of these facilities. And then you've got the communities in which they work, and this antibiotic resistance comes from the communities, it can come from hospitals, it comes from the outpatient settings. And so how is it that one might apply stewardship in such a diverse setting, uh, a number of settings across the country and actually globally. I think that's a black box. It is sometimes for me, and I'm sure it is for the animal care sector. But I'm sure that there are commonalities that are applicable across sectors. And that's one of the reasons that we're here today. Not only is it our responsibility to use antibiotics judiciously, no matter where they're used, but we have the opportunity to learn from the experience of one, other, one another when we talk about human health or animal health care. And so I'm really looking forward to what we're going to see on this agenda over the next couple of days. It's really remarkable that we're going to have the experts, as Steve said, in the animal health care setting and the human health care setting come and talk about what are the principles of antibiotic stewardship? What are the principles that could be applied across sectors? Now, we all know that the tactics are going to be different. They're very different settings. But I think there are things that we can learn from one another as far as the strategies and the principles of how antibiotic stewardship works. And I just really look forward to learning much more about that. And I think it's really an exciting agenda. Now, what I also am excited about, besides hearing from the experts in the field, 
on the stewardship programs itself is the, the generation of the metrics that are going to help us in measuring success and in continuous improvement as we go on developing our stewardship programs in time as more and more is learned about how antimicrobial resistant uh, and antibiotic resistant microbes are, are generated. And this is uh, quite fortunate that we have uh, Dr. Tom Chappell, uh, who is the, uh, uh, the uh, Chief Evaluation Officer at CDC, uh, here with us to help moderate uh, what it is that we need to think about when in developing uh, metrics around almost any subject, but in this circumstance, antibiotic stewardship. And it is hard. There's no question about it. The, 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 the data, the, the really useful data is hard to come by. Uh, sometimes it's going to need uh, some uh, uh, some investment to be able to obtain the type of data that's going to be really useful. But then putting that data to work in the right kind of metrics is what we have to plan for ahead of time. So again, I'm really looking forward to all that we have to learn. I have cleared my schedule over the next two days to, to uh, sit and learn myself because this is a uh, this is an intersection where I think CDC might be able to help to bring the human health care and animal health care uh, uh, sectors together to learn together. Thank you very much.